we have done nonsense things with the floaties. But could regular people do something alike? And what if there is a chance to win a PlayStation? There are 18 challenge participants. Some of them came to the diving pool for the first time in their lives. This challenge is gonna be brutal. Hope there will be no injuries, but the lifeguard is ready. Just in case. You can never guess who is going to win the PlayStation. Sneaky athlete? A pensioner? Or innocent high school students? It was really unfair at times. Make sure to watch until the end. <laughs> All stunts are performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. This video is intended for informational purposes only. Don't try anything without a professional advisory. Hey, what's up, water crew? My name is Jim and I'm a pro diver. The episode where regular people were jumping off a 10 meters platform got over a million views. So today I came up with another challenge for my subscribers. The goal is to make it into a floaty after jumping from 1 meter springboard. Each round we will move it further away, so whoever makes it in the last wins PlayStation. Ready? Let's fly! Honestly, I almost thought that no one is going to come, because this challenge may be too hardcore. But I got so surprised when so many people showed up. So who are those brave subscribers from my Instagram who came in today? There are high schoolers, probably here to skip classes. A college teacher? Is he here for the same reason? A couple of buddies? Cashiers? An entrepreneur Oleg? He also is a toy car collector. He is the heaviest one so far. Hope he will not pop the tube. It can pop? <laughs> Andrew, a swim coach, says he ate donuts before coming here. So you like donuts, eh? Mm -hmm. Maria joined a diving club at 35 years old. And there are some more civilians who never touched a springboard before. Dan is going to be the judge today. Although there were no limits, Dan said it would be unfair to compete with regular no-athletic people. He is a national diving team member, so it is very nightly of him. On the other hand, younger guys, Max, Matthew and Alex are pro divers, yet they came here to win the PlayStation. What a crew, do you think it is fair? Okay, the rules to win the PlayStation are no bouncing on the board and feet first jumps only, because head first dives could go off the rails. Alright, here are 18 people who will be competing today, and then we'll demonstrate what the jump is supposed to look like. That was harder than I expected. I wonder if they are going to make it. Honestly, my biggest concern is Oleg. He is the one who can easily get stuck inside of the tube. So we moved the floaty 3 meters away for the round 1. And Dan is here to test it out. It was much harder now. What a crew! You cannot imagine how surprised I got when everybody, literally everybody started making it in with no issues. 3 meters is quite a distance, but even Oleg was able to go through. Yeah! I am so proud of my subscribers. The only girl who didn't make it tried to dive in head first for some reason. <laughs> and I'm guessing that was a smack for her to remember. But after that fail, everything was going very smoothly. How about this? moving the floaty even further away. It is at 4 meters 25 centimeters point now. Alex opened the second round and he barely made it. Then the poor guy smacked right on his stomach. Turns out, this distance is unreachable for many of the participants. They tried so hard to make it, but the majority of the fellows were getting screwed. Oleg was so likely to make it, his mess was supposed to help him reach the tube. Sadly, even he got cut off at this round. Many tried diving head first. That is a violation. <laughs> but the funniest thing is that some got lucky with that. 
Andrew did a great job. The donuts that he ate on the way to the pool probably helped. Overall, there were only four soldiers of the floaty army who conquered this distance. But Matthew, Max and Alex are real active divers. Is it cheating? Hope Andrew, the swimming coach, is fine with that. Okay, the watering is at the four and a half meters mark for the round three. The hardcore distance for the hardcore guys. <laughs> But I guess this distance is not hard even for them, since everyone made it in. Who is going to win the PlayStation? The youngest, the heaviest, the most experienced or the luckiest? Who got the nerve to keep going? Alright, now the tube is at 4 meters 80 centimeters. Alex is going first. Many of those who didn't qualify for this round were betting on him. But it looks like he doesn't wait enough to push the board harder and fly further. Anyways, he was very close to making it in. On the other hand, Max made it. Or not? Guys, watch the replay. Can we count this or not? Should he get the PlayStation? Comment below. I guess not. Andrew, who was doping on donuts, barely made it in. And he is the leader now for sure. But there is one more participant left. Matthew just showed an unbelievable technique. He had no issues with flying 4 meters 80 centimeters. This is just incredible. And now we have two strongest guests moving into the last round. The new distance is 4 meters 90 centimeters. Who do you cheer for? Quick rock, paper, scissors to see who is going first. Looks like it is going to be Andrew. <laughs> And he almost fell off the board. That could cost him the victory. But then he focused and showed us an incredible attempt. All right, now it is time to get nervous. The stakes are very high. We are to find out who is getting the PlayStation. And Matthew screws up. Or not? The replay shows that he made it in. But did he actually go through the tube? Guys, comment below. Do you think Matthew made it or not? 99% for not. But look at this. Andrew is unstoppable today. And he wants to do the 5 meters long jump. No way. That would be the world record. Yes, he made it! As promised, he went home with the brand new PlayStation 4. What a great challenge! This day was really emotional. So happy that I made it for my subscribers. What a crew! Please comment below what other diving challenges you would like us to run with you. Subscribe, watch some other episodes, give us thumbs up and please don't do crazy stuff. We will do it instead of you. Take care!